Hello and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies HQ, my old stomping ground. It feels like it's ages since I was here. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, I'm here with my pal Sal, not her real name. No, never call me Sal, please. Sorry. Anything but. Anything? Well, maybe. Excellent. Um, so, there's a good reason why I'm here and that is because we have just launched a bunch of new stuff on the CupcakeGemma.com website. You might have seen a bit, few bits and pieces from some of the videos that Sally's been doing while I've been away uh, and I thought it'd be really cool to show you how to use one particular item yes. and that is this piping nozzle set. Yeah, this is awesome. I've used it a few times in videos before but we're going to show you how to use all the nozzles and get great decoration kind of skills. So in this kit we've got the round nozzle, a multi-star nozzle, a classic kind of star nozzle, a rose nozzle and a petal nozzle along with a lovely reusable piping bag so you can wash it, use it again and a coupler which means you can really easily change from one nozzle to the next. Um, and you know there's so many piping nozzles out there you don't have there to have loads. these ones. The techniques we're going to show you today you can use with different nozzles as well. Um, so it's not all about these, we just want to show you some cool tips really. This will just get you started, is there like five of the really sort of basic ones that yeah, like yeah. everyone should have in their cupboard or drawer. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so we'll get started with the round nozzle because this is kind of like one of the essentials. Not only can you use this for cupcakes and cakes, it's also great for like meringues that you know, like little unicorn poos. Um, macarons as macarons. well. Macarons, yeah, this is an ace nozzle to have. Mm. So we are going to start with the classic swirl. So we're going to start by squeezing a nice blob in the middle of the cupcake, spreading it around a little bit, bringing it up and sweeping it off. And there you have like a classic, kind of nice swirl. That's what we use mostly in the, in the bakery. Yeah, it's kind of nice and rounded, not too much icing, but I know a lot of people like to have a big whippy kind of emoji poo <laughs> kind of Me style. Too. So it's pretty simple, it's pretty much the same. And um, we're going to start in the middle of the cake, just the same as we did just now. So squeeze in the middle, make one layer, then bring your nozzle up, keep going, bringing it into the center, squeezing consistently all the time, and then sweep off at the top. And there you have lots of lovely layers of buttercream. It does <laughs> look an awful lot like an emoji poo. It does, but it's quite good for like hi hats when you dunk them in chocolate. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, this is really great for that. Mm. So that is nozzle number one. Gemma, you're next. I'm next, and I'm using the second most popular <laughs> nozzle in probably the world, and certainly in the bakery, and that is the regular kind of classic star nozzle. It's a six point nozzle. It's really useful for just pretty swirls. You can also kind of do flowers with it. You can also on big cakes do like nice ruffles mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to show you two really simple ways of using it starting with the classic swirl. So just like with Sally's first one, squeeze out a generous blob to start with and then in the same way build it up a little bit, finishing in the middle at the top and then gently sweep it off. I love this. It, for, for me, this one and your first one are like yeah. the classic cupcake looks. Yeah, it's beautiful isn't it? And. Um, the colour is really nice, Gemma. It's fine. <laughs> it's really popping against it's that really chocolate. It's really popping. Yeah, what's your next trick? My next one is basically the same as that, but with a different squeeze, okay. so you get you end up having more ruffles. Mm. More icing and more ruffles. Can't be a bad thing. Perfect. And at any time, if you feel like you just want to have a practice and not waste cakes or icing, grab some grease with paper or a clean surface and you can have a practice of piping and then you can kind of scrape it up and use it again. So and actually this one, this one does, it seems really simple but it takes a little getting used to, yeah. so this is a really good one to practice that with. So we're going to start at the side rather than the middle for this one and we're going to work a bit slower squeezing out um, more icing as you move so you create this lovely ruffle effect and then keep in the same direction just swirling all the time ending up at the top sweep it off and I think this one is this one just looks a bit more decadent than the other one Do obviously because there's more icing yeah kind of looks like a frilly swimming hat it does look <laughs> like a frilly swimming hat like an old lady's one <laughs> yeah. love it <laughs> so next up we're going to do the multi-star nozzle and a little top tip that I just saw Gemma do sneakily off camera is she wipes the top of the nozzle with some paper and it's really important to keep your nozzles nice and clean because if you have any kind of dried icing on it it's really going to affect the way it comes out yeah and also sometimes it just kind of squeezes out by itself and you don't want to start with something that's already kind of oozed out yeah. because you'll end up with an, a, a kind of an irregular shape. Yeah, every night. absolutely. Top tip there. Right, so multi star nozzle. We're going to start again in the centre. A nice big squeeze. Go around the edge of it and squeeze consistently all the time. Then come up into the centre, all the way up to the top, and sweep off. 
I love this. I think it looks really fancy and <laughs> kind of like a temple or something. Do you know what I've realised? Well, you go clockwise and I go anti-clockwise <gasps> when we pipe. It's like how we turn the ends of our bags differently too. It's so different. <laughs> I know. <It's> <laughs> right, the next one of these is a little bit more fun. So we're going to do one squeeze in the middle, give it a little bit of pressure as you pull off, and then I'm going to go around the edges, all the way around. You could leave it like this, but I like to go in the gaps, layering it up with loads of little blobs, maybe one on top of that too. <laughs> How fun is that, Gemma? I love it. It kind of looks like a cactus. It does look like a cacti. 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 I think on. one cactus is a cacti. I don't know. Anyway. Let us know if we're wrong. <laughs> it's the other way around, apparently, we've been told. <laughs> but very pretty. Yeah, also, it kind of looks like, um, like a temple. If yeah, you, yeah. If you like, sprayed it gold, it would look really sort of... Jane Pemberton magical. would love to spray this gold. Wouldn't anyway. <laughs> right, what's next? Well, what's next is the petal um, nozzle, which is a little bit intimidating, I think, some people, because it can be used to make uh, flowers which can be a little bit kind of daunting but I'm going to show you two really really easy ways of using them so the first one I'm going to do is just a really simple multi petaled flower <laughs> so with the fatter part of the nozzle on the outside and the thin part of the nozzle on the inside I'm going to create little petals going around and around to make one layer And then I'm going to change my colours to get a bit more drama and using the same position just go over and do another layer of it. And then to finish it off, just to make it look a little bit more like a flower, I've got some little beads I'm going to pop in the middle. Which I think looks so pretty. That is really pretty and it's quite simple too. That didn't yeah. actually look too kind of technical because I'm the same. I find that a little bit daunting, that nozzle. That, that <laughs> nozzle, I, I steered away from that nozzle yeah. for some time, but no, I love it. Yeah. So um, I'm going to do another one which is similar but with the nozzle the other way around. So with the pointy bit facing outwards. So we're going to start by making a roughly um, outer layer and as you can see I'm moving it really slowly but wiggling it about a little bit just to create these lovely little ruffles and then rather than take it away I'm just going to keep on going. And then finish off neatly and then if you want you can put some little pearls in as well. Aww. That's I love it. so pretty. Isn't it? This would be really good for like a florally kind of cupcake, like a vanilla rose or lavender maybe. Yeah. You know, that would be. Well, really actually, you can, with all these nozzles, mm. you could create a kind of a bouquet almost you with could. loads of different kinds of flowers. Yeah, and another one that's really good, kind of simple, a bit simpler than that of getting like a floral kind of effect is the rose nozzle. Um, you might have already seen Gemma use this one. We do this a fair bit at the bakery. Super, super simple, but it gives a great effect. So we're going to start in the middle. So start in the middle with a nice big splodge and then you're going to wrap around it, keeping really close to the centre each time, letting the shape wrap around itself and it creates this really lovely rose and I'm just going to sweep off in the same direction. And that is so simple but it looks so kind of fancy and it delicate. It does look fancy. And do you know what I love about this one as well is that it looks amazing but you've hardly used any icing yeah, compared yeah. to the other ones so it's very cost effective. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> lastly we're going to do what kind of looks like a hydrangea and Gemma's done a kind of more in-depth kind of hydrangea buttercream um, piping masterclass I guess. We'll put that down below but we're going to start with a little splodge in the middle giving a little ruffle like Gemma did in one of the previous ones and pulling off we're going to go all the way around tiny little splodges giving a bit of pressure when you pull up and then we'll layer it up again and one in the middle 
and there you go. Oh, it looks super pretty. It. And what's a really nice idea to do this is two tone it as well. So put two different kind of colours or slightly different tones of the same colour in the piping bag. But that's what I do in the hydrangea video. So we'll definitely put a link to that yes. in the description box below. Sure. And obviously this is just ten things that you can do with five nozzles, and there are millions, maybe not millions, but there's <laughs> a lot of nozzles out there. Um, you might not have these ones. I want to see what you guys come up with, even if it is these nozzles that you have, because um, there's tons of stuff you can do. And make sure you take lots of pictures, put them on Instagram and use the hashtag Cupcake Gemma so that we can check them out. Yeah, definitely. And also head over to CupcakeGemma.com to get yourself some nozzles if you don't have some already. Um, we've got other things on there too, like <gasps> these, which are more kind of like uh, cookie decorating, I'd say. Oh, I yeah, I know. They're <laughs> awesome, aren't they? So yeah. if you want to see a cookie de bleh, decorating video, we'll do that because it means we get to co uh, eat cookies. Yeah, that's the main reason. <laughs> So we'll be back next week with another video for you guys. So we'll see you then. Tune in. Ta ta Bye. for now. What's your favourite? That one. Oh, mine too. It's so pretty. I love it. <laughs>